Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! In this video, we will get the standard form of a parabola using the given properties. Find the equation of the parabola with vertex at the origin whose properties are given below. I will be plotting here our vertex and we will be using this plane here for us to visualize each given below. Let's start with A. Length of the lattice rectum is 10 and the parabola opens downward. Now since our vertex is in 0, 0 and it opens downward, we will be using this form. That is, x squared is equal to negative 4cy. Now, our lattice rectum is equal to 4c. So, in our form here, 4c will just be substituted by 10. Therefore, our final answer is x squared is equal to negative 10y. Now, let's proceed to b. Equation of directrix is y equals 8. That line is found in the y-axis. So that is in this portion. This is where our directrix is located. That means to say, our parabola opens downward. In that case, we will still be using the same form. That is x squared is equal to negative 4cy. Now remember that our c is the length from the vertex going to the directrix. So our c here is 8. And then we will multiply negative 4 and 8. That will give us negative 32. Therefore, our final answer is x squared is equal to negative 32y. We are now on letter c. Focus at 0, 4. 0, 4 is found in the y-axis, so it is here, it is in this point. Now, that means to say, our parabola opens upward. Therefore, we will be using this form here, x squared is equal to 4cy. Now, our C is the length from the vertex going to the focus. So, we will just substitute our C with 4. So, that's 4 times 4. And then, we will just copy Y. Now, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Therefore, our final answer is X squared is equal to 16Y. By the way, our C is the distance from our vertex going to the focus. At the same time, it is also the distance from the vertex going to the directrix. Let us now proceed to D. Directrix is x equals 7. So, it is found here in our x-axis. So, if this is our directrix here, it means to say that our parabola opens to the left. In that case, we will be using this form. y squared is equal to negative 4cx. Now, our c is the distance from the vertex going to the directrix. Therefore, our c is 7. Negative 4 times 7 is equal to negative 28. Therefore, our final answer is y squared is equal to negative 28x. Now, we are given here graphs of parabola. We have the red parabola and then the blue parabola. Let's start with number 1. As you can see, the vertex in our first parabola here is 5, 6.5. That means to say it is in HK and it opens downward. Therefore, we will be using the form x minus h quantity squared is equal to negative 4c multiplied to quantity y minus k. 
substituting the values here our h is 5 and our k is 6.5 so we'll just have to replace our values here our h is 5 and then our k is 6.5 Now remember that our C here is the distance from the vertex going to the directrix. So we have here 6.5 going to 7.5. Therefore, our C is 1. So we have here x minus 5 quantity squared is equal to negative 4. Our C is 1 multiplied to y minus 6.5 is 13 over 2. Let's make it into a fraction to make it more formal. Therefore, our final answer is quantity x minus 5 squared is equal to negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then we'll just copy y minus 13 over 2. Let us now proceed to the red parabola. As you can see, our vertex here is not in the origin. It is in HK and the parabola opens to the left. Therefore, we will be using this form here. Quantity Y minus K squared is equal to negative 4C multiplied to quantity X minus H. Substituting here our H and K, our K is 4. So we have here Y minus 4. Quantity squared is equal to negative 4c and our h is negative 2. So minus negative 2. Let us copy quantity y minus 4 squared is equal to again our c is the distance from the vertex going to the focus. So from negative 2 going to negative 4 that is 2 units. So our C is 2 and then X negative times negative is positive. Therefore, our final answer here is quantity Y minus 4 squared is equal to negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 and we'll just copy X plus 2. We are now on number 3. The parabola has focus 11, 8 and directrix X equals negative 17 so i have here a plane for me to visualize the given our f here is 11 8 and our directrix is in this side x equals negative 17 please take note that our vertex here is in between the focus and the directrix so we have to get the middle point of these two points here the middle point of the focus and the point here in the directrix so to get that point we'll have to get the average of our x values we have 11 and negative 17 so 11 plus negative 17 all over 2 that is equal to negative 6 divided by 2 therefore our vertex here is negative 3 8 which is in this point here again our vertex is negative 3 8 our parabola opens to the right and since it is in each k we will be using this form that is quantity y minus k squared is equal to 4c multiplied to quantity x minus h now we will just substitute here our k is 8 and then our h is negative 3 so that's x minus negative 3 and then we will get the value of c 
Again, our C is the length from the vertex going to the directrix or it could also be the length from the vertex going to the focus. So we have here negative 3 and the negative 17, the distance from these two points is 17 minus 3 is 14. So our C is 14 and then we'll just copy here x and then negative times negative is positive 3. Therefore, our final answer is quantity y minus 8 squared is equal to 4 times 14 is 56. And then we'll just copy x plus 3. We are now on number 4. Our vertex is negative 1, 4. And our line of directrix is y equals 5. So I have here a plane for us to visualize the properties. Our vertex here is negative 1, 4. So it's in this point here. And this is our directrix. That means to say that our parabola opens downward. And since it is in HK, we will be using this form here. That's quantity x minus h squared is equal to negative 4c multiplied by quantity y minus k. Substituting the values, our h here is negative 1, so that's x minus negative 1 quantity squared. And then we'll just copy 4c this time. Our c is the distance from the vertex to the directrix, so that is 1. And then our k is 4. So we have here as our final answer, negative times negative is positive. So that's quantity x plus 1 squared. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And we'll just copy y minus 4. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.